Alrighty guys, so right now we do have two boxes to uh, to open two figures here. We do have one black series, we have Tika the Jawa, and we do have a Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man Noir. Both of these look pretty cool, and I'm excited to open them. This one, I'm not a huge Jawa fan, I'm not gonna lie, I've passed on a lot of Jawas, but uh, I figured I'd pick it up. It's been on shelves for a while, and it's been peg warming, so why not? It was the only K Kenobi figure that I don't have yet, so I figured I'd pick it up, but let's go ahead and open up Spider-Man Noir first. I believe this is only my second Marvel Plastic Free package, and I want to say... I want to say this this is my... Uh, like, besides, besides, uh, like, st oof. and I want to say this is my third overall, because I don't think, um, I think I've only ever done one Black Series Plastic Free, too, so, uh, this might be one of the, one of the first few Plastic Free packages for me, um, still gotta pick up the Plastic Free Black Series Wave, but haven't really got to that yet, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Come on, let's, uh, come on. There we go. Is it taped on the, it's taped on the bottom too. No wonder I'm having trouble. There we go. Alrighty, so I guess a spider pig just fell out, or spider ham. I already do have a spider ham from the Gwen Stacy figure. But here is Spider Noir. And I believe that's it. So that's, that's all that's in that box. Let's go ahead and get him out. And uh, here he is. I do love this big, big flowing trench coat. It literally looks amazing. Yeah, this figure looks awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, see about his accessories here. He does have a holster for his gun, I believe. But I guess all the accessories are in this thing right here. He does come with, of course, a... He does come with, of course, Spider-Ham. He does come with, of course, Spider-Ham, which, like I said, I already have one of. But he also does come with an alternate uh, unhatted head, so the one without the the hat, which is uh, kind of cool, I guess. And he does come with his uh, gun as well. But pretty cool Spider-Man figure. I do wish that they would have given him maybe some alternate hands. Um... Or something, but does have a double jointed pinless. Gets a lot of range of motion there, which I do like. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get him in a nice uh, Spider Man pose. But uh, yeah, here he is. We got him in this nice, like, uh, shooting pose. He is holding the jacket with the other hand, and uh, I do like how that looks. Uh, this leg is like really loose for some reason. I don't know what's up with it, but it's kind of kind of janky on my on my figure, but I think the pose looks cool, and I really love the uh, Spider-Man Noir. It's just an awesome looking figure, and I, like I said, I especially love the big flowing trench coat. I think it looks awesome, and I do love, of course, the all-black Spider-Man. It just looks really cool.
Alrighty, so this does kind of require a little bit of an explanation, but I did go to Walmart searching for the Purge Trooper because apparently this Walmart is supposed to have it in stock. And uh, first I went down, of course, the Black Series toy aisle. There was nothing on the shelves, not a single Black Series figure. Uh, yeah, they didn't really even have much of a Star Wars section. I had trouble finding it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I also went down and I checked the like middle aisles for one of those shipper boxes, but there wasn't much there in either. And according to the app, it was, I want to say it was like aisle Y29 was where the actual figure was supposed to be. And I went down to Y and uh, there was nothing. It, did, it ended at Y15. So I talked to an employee and he sent me to the greenhouse. So here we are in the greenhouse. I uh, got a ton of boxes and stuff. I figured it might be still boxed up, but uh, I did some digging and I couldn't really find it. Alrighty, so I just got back from uh, Walmart, and this is a Walmart that I don't normally go to. It is about an hour away from where I live, and they had a ton of Kenobi figures. This is the first time I've really seen a lot of Kenobi figures in stock. And I believe they had, what, six Darth Vaders, two Fifth Brothers, two Revas. No Kenobis, believe it or not, which is really weird to see that many Darth Vaders and all these other characters, but no Kenobis. I don't know, pretty cool though, but yeah, it's just the first time I've ever seen that many Vader's and Kenobi figures in store, but without the rest of the wave. Really, really weird. Alrighty guys, so right now we are backstage of Out of the Basement stream. We are all ready to go, got our webcam all set up, 
and uh, we're ready to stream. So really excited. Make sure you go check that one out. So yeah, we are getting pretty close to the end of the vlog here. I, got, I know I did say I would unbox this one, but you're gonna have to wait until next week for that. I figured I'd wait until next week to unbox the Jawa there. And we did end up picking up an Umbra Arc Trooper at one of the game stops. I never really saw it in store, so I figured I would pick it up. And that one will probably end up being a future giveaway. So make sure to stick around for that. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this week's vlog. If you did enjoy, the like button and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more of that kind of like in-store figure hunting. Because I really love doing it. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see more of it. But again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.